Hey friends, it's Brian and it's time for another Jeep TJ build video. So, I'm working on my salvage rescue and I'm building a Jeep out of this one. Uh, check out my Jeep build playlist. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe, hit the, if you're going to subscribe, hit the bell button so you find out when I release new videos. And as always, let me know what you think in the comments. So, where I left off in the previous videos, I got the engine on its mounts and I got most of the wiring connected. I've got some dilemmas. Um, I need to work on the air conditioning system, but I don't want to open the accumulator until I am ready to seal the system back up. I'm not there today. I need to work on the exhaust and I need to finish with the wiring and grounding. So I think I'm going to start with the wiring and grounding and get that out of the way. Um, I've got a bit of a dilemma. Uh, this wire broke off or this this tubing broke off its vacuum tubing and it's it's just shot and this goes to the uh, cruise control so they don't make the part anymore um, and I'm not a hundred percent sure where it used to hook in I think it hooked in there uh, I, to put that in so what pile to quote one of my friends it's just, just can go in the fucking so what pile for right now so i want to finish up with the grounding and the wiring um this goes to an air conditioning sensor i don't know what these go to so i'm going to install some of the throttle stuff uh, in fact that's what i'm gonna start with right now so let me get set up and we'll be right back start with the throttle linkage that clearly goes there but I haven't got a clue where the rest of it goes All right, there's another bolt, and then I've got a bolt up there. Okay, so that's where it goes. All right, that's that's cool. So at least we figured it out. Let me uh, get a socket for this. And of course they're not the same size. That would be too easy. So it's probably a 13. But we'll try a 12 first. Oh, let's see what's going on. We're... that looks like it could be a 10 oh it is a 10 I just was having trouble getting to it all right so this uh, even though this is a new heat shield it's feeling kind of crusty I'm going to put thread lock in here because I have no idea what the torque value is. I don't feel like looking it up and I'm just going to snug it. And I'm using medium, which is easy enough to break loose. These bolts are interchangeable. They're not location specific.
Although, seeing where the bolt goes is a little challenging. Understand why this is so fucking difficult in here. All right, that should make this easier. Let me find it. I'll be back. Okay. It was uh, in the front seat. This is taking more effort than it should. Both of those are in place. And at this point, we should have a live pedal. Yes. All right, that feels good. Let me put some tools away, and I'll be right back for the next project. Okay, so I've got some ground wires back here that need attention. So one of them clearly goes here on the firewall and clearly it goes with this. So let me get the bolts for that. I've got a second one that's labeled ground strap or firewall. I don't know where it goes. Let me find uh, the socket for this. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so this is a 15 millimeter socket. And I have a vent tube for the transfer case, which needs to be secured. And it has a little, I'm pretty sure it goes back here too. Because this looks, this looks right. So I want to look at this and see if that shape matches. Hmm. Can't tell if that's where it was or not, but that's where it's going. Uh, let me turn the wheel out of the way. Make this easier. Okay, so I don't know if that's where that goes or not. I just, uh, it goes somewhere up here, but I don't know where. See if I can find something else that has that footprint on it. Well, I bet I know exactly where the other piece went. Still don't see it though. Bet. There it is. That's where the other piece went. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. So this will make my life a little bit easier. And we'll start with the I got it. things is the ground strap for the hood. And that is there. in place. Let me, I need another ratchet here. I don't know where the hell the one I'm looking for went. Ah, there it is. It's still in the drawer. So, the real question is where else could the um, vent tube go? And I, I honestly, I want to relocate it. I want to because I want to add the transmission one. The transmission one doesn't go high enough, in my opinion. They both need to come up really high on the firewall. And um, you know, same thing for the axles. They they need to come high on the firewall and away from the exhaust. Because I have a hunch that the exhaust is hot on this vehicle. So. This clearly goes right here. All right, so that's gonna go there. And then it's just a question of, do we go ahead and stack this on, even though this is in reverse of how I think it should go. None of that, none of that flows right, but this is okay. 
So I mean, I think that's what we're gonna do. I don't think it's right. I think it came from somewhere else and I think there's gonna come a point where I go, oh yeah, that's where that goes. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. So the first thing we need to do is pick this up and then pick that up in the right orientation and then try to get this in here without oh and there's one more but it's not as important so we want it to go first and it needs to come behind here started so let's go ahead and put a ratchet on it and get it tightened down feels good so that goes to there to the frame to the hood so I, I, I'm I'm good with that this wire grounds out there it could have been grounding out here but I, I'd rather it under there with the other ground um, I think that's it back here I mean I've got a oh okay 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 I see what we're doing here sense but it ain't gonna reach so there's a piece on here so there must be a lower spot that the transfer case tube mounted to let me see if I can find it because the transmission tube is supposed to mount to that triangle piece see a fucking thing that is a candidate for that in here other than the side of the engine I'm not mounting it there So the next thing's next. I got a little bit of wiring work to do. Okay, so what I need to really do here is anchor a couple things. And so I'm going to go ahead and install one of the anchors and I'm going to snip. So I anchored this here before I knew about these replacement anchors. So I'm going to cut this and see kind of where that went. see anything there. Uh, but there is an anchor back here and so I've got these replacements. This might be... Yep, yeah, so this one's too small. So that's a 4.6. Uh, let me put it back. These are Panduit cable tie anchors but I've got them in several sizes. That. So I've got them in nine. It isn't going to be those, but these have a good chance. Um, and I ordered a bunch of these just kind of scattershot based on what I'd read online. 
So I think that one's going to go right there. Yep, that's perfect. So that is a 6.3. And then what that's going to let me do is come in here with a zip tie. And pick up the... So I'm going to get a longer zip tie and pick both pieces up. And it's a Harbor Freight zip tie, so it remains to be seen if it's as durable. But I think they're all made in the same place anyway. China. With, probably with recycled American plastic that they probably spit in. So that looks good. So that gets my engine wiring, my PCM wiring back out of the way. And that's that's what we want to accomplish there. Now, I thought there was another mount. See, like this one's shot, but it's working, so I'm not gonna mess with it. But I thought there was another one down here. I, don't, I didn't think this was just loose like this. Maybe it was. There ought to be one here if there's not. Let me see if there's anything to zip tie to. Nope, there's just a spot where it's been rubbing paint for 30 years. Or 20 years. I'm still going to mobilize it with a long zip tie. And I did need to cut the other one because it was not going to be in the right spot. That just keeps it from moving around when I'm driving. There's a spot to hold down the air conditioning line, and I'm going to go ahead and put something in here. There's actually a couple of them uh, in the fender. So one of them's here, and what was in this location is just completely fried. And I think that it's a larger one. And if it's not this, I think this is it. So this is 6.3. Yeah, so that, that fits nicely. And that's the one right here. And I'm reasonably confident that this one is for... Uh, there's actually two of them here, and one of them hasn't had anything in a long time. So we're going to put something back in it, and that's for that. And there's one here, which um, has had one, but pretty sure that's what belongs there. And I don't like this wiring just being loose, but it is what it is. So, and I think this goes somewhere nearby. I just haven't figured out the where yet. And then there's probably one here that's missing. I 
I'm okay with that. I think this goes somewhere that's just not here right now. So. And I'm just going to leave that loose. Do the same thing. Ahead and put it in but not crank it down and that's my reminder that it needs to be tightened yep so there's one there but nothing along here. I mean, another one would be nice, and I might put one in like right there because I don't, I don't, I really don't want these wires from rubbing around. But for now, that's what I'm going to do there. So let me put this away, throw this away. That can certainly go back in its location, and there's a second location for it here. I'm not ready to put the cruise control. Well, I guess I could put some of the cruise control in. It just can't go fully in because it's we're just not ready for it. And then this stuff all belongs on the fender well, so it just has to kind of hang out for a while. You can hang it up there. So we're basically done there. Let me put this away, uh, kind of micro clean up, and I'll be right back. All right, folks, so I'm gonna stop this video here because not everybody's probably interested in these long ass videos. Um, but that's all I'm going to do at the top of the engine and the ground and the wiring for tonight. Um, I am going to do another video, but I'm going to break the transmission mount into a separate subject because I, I think it will be helpful for people to see that done the way I'm going to do it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video.